Hey everyone, it's Will here, and I am here to review Mark Manson's new course that he just released called Better Your Life. Now, if you're not familiar with who Mark Manson is, he is a New York Times bestselling author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. He's a blogger and internet entrepreneur.、Uh, as you can tell, he makes his money from his book sales as well as his membership site on his blog. His blog has millions of visitors every month. And he is obviously、um, been on highly established sites such as Forbes, CNN, Vice, and so forth. And you can tell, like, just by the design of this blog, that he 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 has some money. He he knows what he's talking about. In fact,、um, he recently reached over one million copies sold of his new book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, which is incredible. And he said、uh, in a、uh, subscriber, "Ask me anything," that it was life-changing money for him. I'm assuming he made a couple million dollars from that, and it's still flowing in every month. And so、um, that's incredible. He definitely started with humble beginnings.、Uh, when he was first blogging, the first couple years, he was pretty much homeless. Like he was barely making like. A thousand or two thousand dollars a month, so he's come a f- f- quite a long way, and you, you can kind of tell. Like his, this blog is pretty darn、um, cool, and so how does he make his money? Well, I mentioned his book sales, but and I also mentioned mentioned his membership site. So this is what I really like about his、um, uh, online business format. You can all. The only thing he has for sale is a membership, and it is dirt cheap.、Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored to do this video. I'm not.、Uh, I don't know the guy,、um, but you pay like six bucks a month for his membership site, and that's the only thing you can buy from him. And he makes all his money online through those two main sources. Really, I, I guess he also has speaking gigs, but.、Uh, I don't know about that.、Um, I don't think he does much speaking. He's done a couple speaking gigs before in the past, but it's just really cool for you because back in the day, he used to sell all these courses, like a, a lot of other、uh, more sleazy internet marketers, where they would hike up the price to like a thousand dollars or more per course,、um, and then he would have eBooks as well. And stuff like that, and they would be pretty inflated in price. Now this guy was never that bad. Even back when he sold these separately, I think it wasn't like a thousand or five thousand dollars each, like some people、uh, do online. A lot of people do online.、Um, they were still f- somewhat reasonable, but they were still like five hundred bucks, two fifty bucks each. He decided to roll everything together and just sell it all for a membership price of six dollars a month. And he even offered a discount option. If you purchase annually, it comes out to just four dollars per month, which is so ridiculously dirt cheap. I think it's such a bargain. It's it's probably much cheaper than he should be selling it for. So he rolled all this together, and he re- recently released a new course called Better Your Life. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to re- review Better Your Life. It's a course that I、uh, finished. And first and foremost,、uh, what I like about his courses are that they are digestible and not overwhelming.、Um, all his courses are about six to eight lessons long, and each lesson probably takes only about twenty, thirty minutes tops to complete, and that includes、um, reading what he has to say and then doing the exercise at the bottom. So. That's how most of these lessons are structured. You basically have a、um, lesson where he just kind of teaches you stuff, and then an exercise at the end,、uh, usually where you have to write something. And then there's like an intro at the beginning, just prefacing what this course is about and who it's for and who it isn't for.、Uh, quite frankly, I think the other courses, especially the connections and conversation course and the anxiety course. Are great for anyone who has any relationship issues, whether it's、uh, trouble getting dates, trouble、uh, 
getting intimate with someone, anxiety with approaching someone, or they are already in a relationship, uh, maybe a spouse or loved one, but they have argument, uh, arguments or dis you know disagreements, or they just um, feel like they they can communicate with themselves better, or they have anxiety of any form of like s f failure to make friends. I think they're great courses, they're well researched, but I, I made a whole video reviewing those, so I'm not going to go into depth about this. This is just about the Better Your Life course. This course is all text. So unlike other courses, he has a couple courses here that are video courses. Um, the anxiety one and the dating and relationships one are uh, video based. So instead of like text here, um, every lesson will just start off with like a uh, vid embedded uh, Wistia video that's about like 10 minutes long and you just click play and you watch it and or listen to it um, I tend to listen to them at one and a half time speed just to make it faster but sometimes I, I want to kind of slow it down to get every point so I'll just watch it at normal speed um, this course is all text which I didn't find a huge problem because it wasn't overwhelming like there's some courses by Tony Robbins that will take like months to finish because he he's under the delusion that the more is always better and then you just you end they um, end up piling on these some of these experts they end up piling on courses that are like 50 lessons long and each lesson has like a manuscript of reading you have to do um, each lesson here is only the text is only like 300 words um, yeah, it's incredibly impactful. Um, just to kind of walk through um, the lessons uh, at a higher level, the first one is basically where he tells you the importance of mapping out your long-term goals, and then he asks you to do it. He wants you to have a no-holds-bar. If anything is possible, what would your dream life look like in detail in five years? And he walks through like why every part of that's important why it's important to have details why it's important to look into a long-term future in five years and to be very specific then he goes into um, some short-term stuff so he's like okay do the same thing but now do in the next year rather than five years and you know be a bit more realistic uh, and so you can kind of already kind of see what he's trying to do here he's kind of it's basically he's he's bridging the gap between the long and the short and taking those seemingly impossible long-term goals and, and slowly but surely mapping them into shorter term goals that you can actually work towards so then I did that um, and he has this really um, simple but cool um, web development thing where you can kinda enter your what you want here and save your entry and then step four, passion time ratio. In this one, um, he w wants you to map out like the specific things that you're passionate about and how much passion you get from them and the time it takes for you to do them. And then he also tells you to map out the things that you aren't really passionate about, but you end up doing anyways. Uh, because you have to or because you think you're good and you know map out from a 1 to 10 scale how you would um, put them and there's stuff here like you know watching TV 15 hours a week value 4 browsing the internet 20 hours a week 6 hanging out with friends 5 hours a week 8 um, and so I did that here and it's just a really good way to analyze what you're doing now and figuring out what you're screwing up on, what you're spending all this time doing that isn't giving you much value, to kind of root it out, and, and so on and so forth. And also to double down on um, the things that you get a lot of value from, but you aren't spending a lot of time doing. So just a quick you know, peek at my list. This is private, so I'm trying not to show um, this stuff because it's intimate. I have to be honest. Um, but, you know... Um, there's stuff here that's uh, not as valuable as I thought it would be, such as Instagram. I thought, you know, I spend like maybe three or four hours a day trying to grow and promote my own Instagram by leaving 
thoughtful comments on related profiles and posting pictures and st Instagram stories daily and stuff like that. And I, I marked that as a value of about a 4 slash 5 and that's not good enough um, to make the cut. So maybe I'll just you know skip Instagram. Um, and then there's a goals which I, I'm not going to, uh, out of respect to Mark, I'm not going to explain in detail what each of these are. Therefore, you'll have to buy the course in and of itself to really figure that out. There's a goals versus habits one where we focus on habit formation. Then there's the action plan one where we bring it all together. Um, and then there's, you know, you can kind of see what this is, you know. And it's, I think it's a very simple, concise, not overly complicated course. Um, I love that it starts off with this fun and easy activity where um, you have this like opportunity to just make entries on what you would want to do if you could do anything you wanted in the world and you didn't have to worry about money and to be as detailed as possible and of course I wrote stuff like travel to specific places like the Caribbean uh, get 500,000 plays a month of my um, podcast uh, stuff like that um, and it really just wraps it all together I, I really like the whole design of this I'm gonna touch on what I didn't like about this course real soon but I want to start with what I did like and I just really liked the fact that it was concise it was simple it was doable I broke it in chunks so I only did like one lesson um, a day and then sometimes I would I just wouldn't have the time or willpower to do the less the next lesson the next day so I, I averaged about maybe like two lessons uh, a week but I, I chunked it out and got this whole thing done it was manageable it was doable and that's what I love about this course it's not so ridiculously complex that you can't get through the whole thing uh, it's not like 50 million steps it wasn't so intimidating that you just get you just feel discouraged because you have you have this thing you paid for but you never finished it so you feel like a failure you didn't even get the you know juice out of it because you couldn't finish it that is something that I think Mark Manson does really well with his courses they're all doable and finishable um, and uh, the thing with them is they also kind of really work well to um, help you stay consistent um, he recommends repeating some of these courses numerous times um, to get even better at them and I think um, it's well worth doing because you never really get the full benefit um, from just doing them once but you get a lot of benefit from them and, and just the achievement of finishing it is incredible and he even built this simple but eff uh, effective tool where you can delete your private answers from his server if you want privacy which I don't really care about um, but more importantly this one's really cool um, for all those other those exercise entries I posted earlier in the previous lessons I can hit this button and it'll automatically source all these together and create a PDF of all the questions and answers in one spot so I can print that out and, and have it as a reference I thought that this was very valuable and uh, he s clearly seemed to have made his own plugin to create this feature which I thought was really cool um, uh, one thing I wish was better about this course as with other courses is that he doesn't really cite too many scientific sources or reference points you just kinda have to trust him on his word based off all the knowledge he's you know put out from his free and paid articles to give you you know an idea that maybe he has some you know, credibility behind his advice um, you know when you really a lot of people say Mark Manson's like really well researched and he he cites a lot of sources in his articles but like uh, although he does have a f footnote section with a bunch of bullets in any of his articles like if you actually dig through his footnotes they're not always like scientific sources sometimes like n nine out of ten of them are just like links to like tweets or just like articles he's read or quotes or just random thoughts he's had so that wasn't it's not the most credible thing in the world which I wish was better but obviously I trust him enough to like his material and read his stuff and I think he does argue a lot of good points he and he does cite some good people he brings a lot of great stories from successful people into his writing 
and he, it's not like he doesn't cite scientific sources and of course he reads a lot of books but I just want to give my honest opinion um, not trying to bash the guy um, as far as this course as a whole I think I've seen s similar frameworks for um, you know achieving your dream life uh, being a personal development junkie and r having read like almost every book under the sun on the topic and have like hun hundreds of books already finished in my repertoire um, I'm a, kind of an extremist in this uh, industry um, and yet having already seen familiar stuff and generic stuff like this I thought this was still fantastic I think um, what I loved about it is that I actually completed it um, Mark Manson, uh, not Mark Manson um, Michael Masterson he has a book with a very similar framework but I couldn't complete that book because it was like 400 pages long it had a framework very similar to this but much more detail like you start like 10 years away and map out your dream life and then you, you have all these like subtasks and sub exercises and I was just so exhausted after like the first 20 pages I couldn't finish the book I felt discouraged I thought like if I couldn't even get halfway through if I didn't finish it then it doesn't count but with something like this that was short and sweet I, I thought it was a much better and it did something very similar to Michael Masterson's course which is basically you really map out in detail your dream life and then you break it down into small manageable steps on the weekly and daily basis to make it happen now what I tweak this course a little bit myself if I created it of course I would everyone else would I think I would have mentioned a few other subtle things that are worthy of mentioning such as the fact that we underestimate our uh, achievements 10 years from now but we overestimate what we can achieve one year from now he didn't mention that and therefore most people will likely um, be overestimating and underestimating when they do uh, lessons two and three uh, but in general I think this was a great um, launch of his course It's a brand new course so maybe he will make further tweaks and improve the course but in general I thought it was quite effective um, and it, it, the fact that I actually did the exercises like that's what that's a huge achievement for me because um, oftentimes I'll read about this stuff and I'll be like yeah that's cool I should definitely you know create a 10-year framework of what I want my life to look like 10 years from now and then slowly work backwards to what I have to do on a daily basis and what I have to do now to move towards that life and then I won't do jack crap I won't do jack shit I'll just kinda sit there on my butt and vaguely for like 10 seconds trying to map it out and then I'll be on my way my merry way and be no better off for it and that's that's the danger of reading personal development material with this course you actually have to sit down and spend the extra 10 minutes sometimes it only took like five or ten minutes to do this um, it, and take the extra time to actually write down and tell the world what you want to do and you know it, it's also a little extra cool thing that he created like these small simple tools <laughs> in the actual course like this timer here um, to to really get things done so you don't have to go elsewhere to find things um, I don't think this was truly necessary the timer uh, I mean you have timers on the internet you have timers on your phone um, you can open up a word doc and have this and just enter your um, your brainstorming ideas but I think the fact that he did take that extra small step to have this all here uh, was better because then you won't get distracted or lose focus by going to another site and then procrastinating and watching YouTube videos uh, it's all built into the system so you don't lose your pace you don't get distracted uh, so uh, nothing crazy nothing complicated he didn't have to get someone to program a small timer into his course but he did and I thought it was um, pretty cool and he probably didn't even have to create another course given the fact that uh, he just made a bunch of money but that's also cool that he did maybe this was a long-term project maybe he just respects the fact that true happiness comes from a constant state of uh, fulfilling work and effort being put in uh, in a state of flow which won't be achieved through uh, complacency uh, from money but I don't know the point is uh, that's my review on the better your life course that just came out by Mark Manson. 
Let me know what you, th what you think. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you later.